Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom. With uh, this music actually pretty, it's being real fitting because in this video, we're going to be doing another overview video of a cookie that I recently got. Which technically, it's not a cookie that I recently got, but recently, she awoken. That's right, we're going to do a cool video on an overview on Golden Cheese Cookie's new uh, awoken form. Those in power. Okay, Rubble Cookie, that's real nice, but right now I'm focused on Golden Cheese, which isn't around here right now. I mean, to be fair, she's around, just not in this certain area. By the way, there's there's Queen Amon just negotiating with uh, the little Kofi small friend. At least, uh, at least they're quickly making friends, that's adorable. But this video, I will say, unfortunately, I'm not going to be reading any comments in this video, only just because I wanted to be solely dedicated to the cookie in question. But still... If you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. Let's go ahead and get my daily gift real quick right here. And, uh, of course... Let's go ahead and try and search for Golden Cheese, which is actually right here. But the thing is, she actually does not look ascended yet. As you can see, this is just, this is not her ascendant. This is just her basic, like, costume that she had before from uh, the Golden Cheese King, which, man, I'm really going to miss this costume. It's going to be so sad seeing this go, but, uh, well, there's nothing really much else we could do now. What I have to do before I can show her off is I have to go to Cookies, and I have to find Golden Cheese Cookie. Because if I go over here... All that shines belongs to my kingdom. There's a button here that says awaken. So everyone say goodbye to our current form of gold cheese. Because as far as I know, I don't know if there's a way to swap her back. Here's her current form right now. And here's her costume looking form. Just so you can all get like a reference out of it. I'll even show her talking in her basic costume once. Just so, and by basic costume, I mean her default look. Just so you can see it. Your god has arrived. Sound the golden trumpets. Oh, uh, trust me, it's about to be even better. And that's the original story, but of course, I'm not sure if the story's going to be the same, but of course, I am going to go ahead and do what needs to be done. Swap you to this. The costume really doesn't matter, but still, we're going to go ahead and awaken you right now. Yes. And you get the skill Radiance of the Immortal. Uh, select this cookie loader, and apparently, uh, I think we can just read this off from here, apparently. So this will be a little bit different. So you get to see all the stats here, which it goes up a little bit. But it does say here, upon using her skill, Golden Cheese Cookie spreads her wings and throws her spears of the Immortal, dealing damage of up to eight times when there are five or more enemies. For each enemy defeated, she gains an extra spear of the Immortal. The number of spears can increase up to 12 in total. When hit by the spear, enemies receive a debuff amplifying Earth-type damage and decreasing crit percent or crit damage. While Golden Cheese Kiki is using her skills, she will inflict Immortal's Retribution on the enemy with the lowest HP, applying Curse, Immortal's Punishment, Healing Prevention, and Damage Dealing. Or Dealing Damage. She then deals Explosion Damage to nearby enemies and additional damage proportional to her Spear of the Immortal stacks. Once per battle, Golden Cheese Cookie will revive and enter the Immortal's Return State. In this state, her damage resist, attack, and defense will increase. Golden Cheese Cookie will also cover the team with a Dome of Gold that will take damage instead of the allies and make them immune to knockback. The Great Immortal uh, Golden Cheese Cookie increases all ranged cookies damage resist and, and specifically all ranged, all ranged damage resist and attack and damage proportional to max HP is capped at 300,000. So, I didn't expect it to kind of start like that, just to read off the skill, but if you want to just kind of a basic clearing of this, when she's when she attacks, she throws her spears up to 5 to 8 times, and it can actually stack up to 12, because she can throw more spears, doing more damage, and it applies, like, Earth-type damage, while also decreasing uh, damage, wait, amplifying Earth-type damage, and decreasing crit percent and crit damage. So the crit damage goes down, I guess you gotta kind of be more Robert Force. And also, she can apply a lot of stuff from, uh, to the lowest HP. It applies Curse, Immortals, Punishment, Healing Profession, and Dealing Damage in general. So, uh, and also, it deals Explosion Damage to the nearby enemies. Proportional to the Spear of Immortal Attack. She's just gonna nuke everything and make the weakest person re reach their absolute bottom of the barrel. And of course, whenever she dies, it's actually better than her current thing, where, like, she kind of goes into the sarcophagus, but then she revives. Instead, she dies, but then just revives with the Immortal's Return State, giving her more damage-resistant attack and defense, and also covers the whole entire team in a uh, whole little dome of gold to make them protected, and also makes them immune to knockback, which... Oh my gosh. So, with that being said, I think I read all I need to do here. Here's, like, all the small info. If you want to go ahead and read it, just to pause. Immortals Return, Immortals in, uh, Embrace, and the Immortals Retribution, and Wings of Eternity. Yeah, it's spitting, the spitting image of immortality, which you can see a little test of it right here, which I do want to test on myself. Uh, the, oh, oh, my gosh, is that lagging? Oh, my gosh, the frames are chopping. Nah. It's causing the game to just break. 
Let's let's turn that off. I feel like I'm afraid that the game's gonna crash after that. Which, by the way, I actually did give her some toppings. I gave her these custom uh, little uh, radiant cheese chocolates, with her, which they're all on cooldown because I'm pretty sure the best thing that uh, they can be is just making the attack just be as constant as possible. So uh, it may not be the best. Maybe uh, the plumbing ones for uh, attack are better. But now let's go ahead and actually awaken her because I really want to get a gander some of her quotes. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. She's laughing beautifully. Oh, look at that background. Oh, it looks so plumbing elegant. And no way. You can change out of here if you want to. They, they, that must be a new feature. Oh, that's so cool. Of course, I'm still going to keep it away. Wait, will it swap out any time? Let me just check. So if I go back. 50, oh, so no, it just shows that she's awoken, but she still keeps her like, you know, it's, how do I say this? She can still keep her default form, costume form, or awakened form, but she, it'll, still, they, it'll still say that she's awakened. That's amazing. I'm currently going to equip this because this is the new stuff. Because the bam, bam it like, just goes to default. Yeah, it's it still always says that she's immortal. Which is plebbing awesome. Now, will the story change? I think it does change. Which it says here, What palm can hold every grain of sand without spilling a single one? This question has long haunted Golden Cheese Cookie. Many have doubted her dreams and desires over the years. To others, she was always a cookie fretting over trinkets, boasting, bluffing, and stubbornly grasping onto her spear, unable to let go. And yet, time over time, armed with boundless ambition alone, this cookie managed to shift tides in her favor and greedily turning her most daring fantasies into reality against impossible odds. Now, Golden Cheese Cookie's wings have carried her on to even greater heights, her golden radiance shining as brightly as her heart, May your name go down in history, O oh Radiant Queen. Which, I'm sorry, if you do also want a first encounter look, which, by the way, you can actually swap between the regular story and also the Awakened story, which is actually a really cool feature. But, of course, you probably also want to see the cutscene for this, so here's that real quickly. My greed is everlasting. Who can wield such power, if not I, Golden Cheese Cookie? Just magnificent. There's nothing else to say about that. It's absolutely amazing. But there we go. There's a little animation. And now I really want to get a dwelling on some of your quotes because, uh, let's be honest. Oh, you also saw that. Oh, Golden Cheese Cookie. Our first awakening. And you also get this package thing. I cannot keep my greedy subjects waiting for too long. Of course you want me to spend money. Why wouldn't you want? Of course I would. Anyway, here how she, here's how she looks in the overworld. And of course, you want me to pick her up. She obviously just looks like she's just suave and just chill about everything with her hands still held onto the arrow. And of course, if you just sit her down somewhere, which I'm going to take her quickly to the airport. She doesn't even need a plane to fly. She's got her new improved wings. Smoke cheese cookie was patiently waiting just for the plumbing. Wait, and you, wait, can they, can they interact? Wait, well, first of all, I'm trying to put you down there for some reason. And can't they interact with each other? She's just sitting there, just uh, like suddenly. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, they got an interaction. So, how did it feel holding my soul jam? Oh, they're conversating. Ooh, that's so cool. There's got to be more stuff, right? It was everything I imagined. You know, I craved that power for a long while. Well, I mean, it makes sense if you actually remember what happened during the world exploration story in World 17 and 18. So, th yeah, that may that's understandable. Anything else y'all got to say, or is uh? Is it just going to continue out like this because this quote's going for a long while? But I realized that uh, that went by too fast. What the heck? Can I actually, like, make them speak to each other again? How is it? Uh, a whiff of my No, apparently it just, like, goes on by itself. So, don't know why, but... Is this still going on? No. Well, smoke cheese just sucked there. Um, uh, okay. Wait, can they talk to each other? Hmm. Are you really the dark cow I used to know? Oh, they interact with each other. Because they're both awoken. And that reminds me, I gotta check something too. Are you really the dark account I used to know? Which I wonder how he's gonna respond. What do you mean? Well, I mean, to be fair, if you were talking to the dark account, he has two dragons on his shoulders. Uh, did, did she just say, is that a smile that I see? That's plumbing adorable. 
What happened to- I'm sorry, I don't know how to laugh. Oh, she's got you there! Oh, she's got you on the- on the mark. <laughs> he actually remembers how to smile now because he's actually awoken from a thing. Mm, I suppose I've grown softer with age. You think it'd be the opposite, but at least you're learnt. This is adorable. Why is everyone cluttered here? I completely see Pattaya Dragon. I see, like, like Cloud of Tay. I see... I guess all the Awoken Cookies decide to, like, just get, gather up the whole entire audience of people. I swear. But whatever. Let me go ahead and see some of your normal quotes, because, like, I'm very curious. Nothing shinier. No. I, I, there's, there's another gold cookie in this kingdom called Gold Citron. She doesn't even outshine you. Because you're literally the embodiment of gold. All your gold shall be mine. Listen, the thing- Oh my gosh, and you rose up with, like, brilliant, like, wing radius or whatever. But I'm just saying, I have, like, over a hundred million gold coins. And let's take this more fitting. Let's take you over here. You do, you, you deserve an land that's more fitting for your, uh, expertise. And yeah, I mean the plebbing golden cheese area that I built fresh for you with a nice pyramid in the center. Quaint as ever. Just as I recall. You know what? I'm very happy that you hear that. I wonder if I can make any sort of upgrades that, like, make this place more shiny, because that'd be really cool if I could. <laughs> Is my radiance too blinding for you? Listen, even if it blinds me, I'm still gonna stare, because why wouldn't I stare respectfully at your plumbing soul jam and whatever else you gold greediness you gotta offer? Nothing shinier? Yep. All your good dares summon me. I mean, it was me. Cause then, I mean, I technically I summoned you a while ago, but I just kind of transformed you right now. I demand respect. I am giving you respect. Look at this whole area that you're in. This is all freshly built for you. There's a whole statue of you right here. If that isn't respect, I don't know what is. Nothing shinier. The richest kingdom of all Earthbred is my kingdom. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Could you imagine? Just, we're, and we're speaking totally hypothetical because it does not exist yet. But could you imagine like, because the only like thing that's more expensive than gold i'm pretty sure is either platinum or diamond but if that's the case oh boy we got something going on for us you want gold huh. all gold is mine it's it's right here it's literally right here in my inven like by the way what for a second i thought the rainbow cubes looked a little bit more deeper in color i don't know if that was just me but whatever and also you do have more quotes but it's on your little informational hud screen that we just saw earlier but I want to go ahead and explore. You are flicking that screen like crazy. The richest kingdom of Wait. all Earthbred is my kingdom. Uh, I can't press it because the speech almost too large. Here we go. My glorious presence will bring us victory. Oh, trust me. I know it certainly will. And I actually, I actually already have you at a high level, so I actually don't need to really upgrade you that much. But I want to do this overview video just to showcase, you know, this stuff. Because look at this. I can't even level you up anymore. You're just still promotion and awaken. Because you're currently at level 80. 100% max level. So what else can I really do here other than promote you? Because, like, I would need soul stones for that. And to awaken you more, I would need soul, uh, soul cores? Uh, soul prisms. Yeah, that's what they are. The brilliance of my dear treasures outshines all. Well, I hope you're talking about the treasures of, you know, the cookies that you've grown to respect who grew alongside with you. Because, uh, of course, treasures are limited and they are shiny, but you could always get more. And they could always be replaced, trust me. Someday... All that shines will be within my grasp. Is that why the sun is over you? All that shines? Because the sun is... Sun's quite shiny. If you're trying to go for solar-esque, then let me tell you... You might be onto something. I cannot keep my greedy subjects waiting too long. That's exactly, that's exactly why I'm a subject. Uh, there we go. And also, I... Don't I got... Didn't I, uh... Oh, yeah, you, you got a, uh, I wish I had a legendary one for you, but I got to get you like a nice, like, epic, like, at the very least an epic. I don't have a legendary, but let me tell you, I certainly want to try and get you a uh, nice, really good one. For now, it'll just be two. This will be a temporary, because I really want to go ahead and get you a legendary one. But let's get you to level 20 real quick. There we go. Nice damage. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip it real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, reset some of these because uh, we gotta have something worthwhile for both your ranged effects. Uh, reset it all. Reset. Because we gotta go ahead and get some high stats. Come on. Oh, well, do you have freeze? Uh, I feel like we could do better on each side. Uh, damage resist, but it really doesn't affect. Mm, maybe something with like cooldown or something like that or attack. Well, that was high attack, but I want something good for like either end, you know? It's gonna kind of be. gonna be pretty. Uh, whoa, crit percent? Let's go ahead and stick with that and let's. Reset some of these, just a little bit though. 
I gotta view too much on these. Maybe when I get something at least purple-esque. Oh, maybe a bit of attack that actually would be pretty- Damage resistance by- Wow, that's actually really good. Let's go ahead and do that. That seems pretty flawless. Alright, so that boosted your power. I think that boosted it by a couple thousand. So that's pretty good. Uh, you got anything else to say before I use you in battle and just slay everything? Someday, victory is the only possible outcome for me. You know, I couldn't agree with you anymore. That's literally the most prominent thing that you could be saying right now. I cannot keep, I cannot keep. Yep. Someday, my greed is everlasting. Did you say that before? I don't know, but like, it still makes sense. My glorious presence will bring us victory. I mean, to be fair, I feel like if I just threw you into battle and you just kind of like stood there, everyone would just like, die. Anyway, with that being said- Your god has arrived. Sound the golden trumpets. Didn't I just hear that quote from uh, the original golden sheets? Probably. Maybe some of the quotes haven't shades because, like, of course, some are carried through. But uh, anyway, I really want to use you in battle. I really want to use you in battle. I got to use you in like a big bout. But uh, what level would I use you in? Probably. Let's go ahead and just do something classic. Let's go to uh, uh, as much as I would do more master mode. I want to go ahead and go all the way up to uh, let's go world ten, timeless kingdom. We're gonna go all the way here. Why the pla Why is there an exclamation mark here? Eh? No? Uh, 625, yeah, but see wonders. But why is there an exclamation mark right here? Is there something that I'm missing? I don't know, but this has to mean something. Maybe there's a cut- uh, I swear, if, it, if, if it's like in dark mode, there's like another cutscene that I have to like view here. I'm gonna be like, upset. Maybe it's also because I can't get the dark cacao, uh, soul stones there anymore. Or dark Chaco. I don't know, but still, I want to kind of, like, test it out. But, uh, I swear, if it kind of resets my cutscenes, I will be kind of upset. But, uh, I'm going to take out Smoked Cheese, and we're going to take out my fourth- My fourth strongest cookie, Golden Cheese. See the golden light! Yeah, that's true. Who dares to covet my treasures? We're going to take down Dark Enchantress Cookie one-on-one. -on -one. Time to knock some sense into you. Perfect. All right. The Cake Witch. Let's go ahead and take this Plevin Cake Witch down. If there's some cutscenes that happen to this, I'm actually going to be upset. Only because, like, I actually want to get to the plumbing boss, and that's just it. Anyways, back to this. Uh, yeah, who's going to go ahead and stand here? Yeah, nice. Yeah, big spear. Big spear, Chuck. You're doing a little bit of damage, but you know what? We're going to just take down that. Come on, just a little bit more. And also, she is the prime leader. Take that little dork down. You ain't going to stop us anytime soon. Take that. We have a couple en enemies, and we're going to go ahead and test this out. Come on. See, let's see if we can kind of speed up here, even though uh, I'm not going to press any buttons. Here we go, there's the cake witch. Let's test out the skill. All will be mine! Oh my, okay. Just, she just got, okay, Dark Genesis cake witch just got demolished. Okay, she's doing a little bit of damage, but let's just go ahead and do it again. All will be mine! Okay, cool. Actually, I would kind of like to see what happens, like, the moment, like, because it says that, uh, Golden Sheets would, like, after, yeah, once per battle, Golden Sheets will revive and enter Immortal's return state. So, I feel like I kind of want to see that, but the thing is, it kind of depends on, uh, you know, how long it'll take. Like, I don't know if Golden Sheets will have enough time to, uh, you know, get, get knocked out enough, which I'm not trying to advocate Golden Sheets getting knocked out. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, I show off every part of her. Uh, so let's just do a little bit more, because it seems be like mine. it might be possible, but I want to be sure just in case. Uh, mm. Okay, more of the cake witches, of course. Gets hit. Those, see those little lasers seem to be doing some good damage. Come on, okay. It's close, I gotta be honest. It's looking pretty tight, but, uh, you never know. I might do it within the last, All last couple seconds. Okay, I just want to do it within a little bit of a seconds. Oh, I'm gonna knock it out before I even realize it. Oh, come on, I want to see I want to show off that without, like, wasting time. It's kind of sucks, because, like, the I kind of want to... The Queen oh, always hmm. wins. I guess I could show it off in, like, a guild battle or something like that, but, uh... It'd have to be kind of hard to do so. But could I perhaps, like, go into, like, a... I don't know, like... Hmm. Some sort of... Like, like maybe this boss? I already have all the soul stones here, but I just want to test it out. That That's so much high... That's so much higher powered. Uh, maybe I should stick to, uh... Still world exploration, but, like, I just want to swap, like, maybe, uh... This fighting the dragon... Maybe that makes sense. I already have all the Parfait Soul Stones, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, 600,000. Let's try for this one. And then I'll start off with, uh... Also taking down the enemies, too, with a skill, just so I can already be well prepared. There's actually no enemies here. Great. Okay, so I just want to show this off. Hopefully she can actually take a bit... 
It doesn't seem like she's ac actually taking much. She's actually taking a bit, actually, but still. Okay, she is taking a fair amount of damage. But let's go ahead and do this, because oh, I'm pretty sure Phase 2 mine. might have a little bit more uh, damaging attacks, because I know for a fact this boss has two stages. Oh, so let's just go mine. ahead and spam this real quick, and just go ahead and shred this boss later on. I know for a fact it has oh, two stages. If it doesn't, I'll mine. kind of be shocked. It's literally just like spear, 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 and then like big damage attack. Okay. We'll still have a good amount. Ow. Ow. Okay. Will be mine. Okay, phase two. Okay, nice. Hopefully your attack should be a little bit more faster. Uh, attack. Cool. Ow, that hurt. Okay, but then here we go. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> here we're back. Oh, we're back. We're back in it. Oh, that did a lot more damage. Oh, she's back in it. All right, oh, Slay. Absolute, literally, absolutely Slay Queen. Le legitimately just Slay Queen. All right, just finish it. Take this out. I showed off the revive. Here oh, we go. Will be mine. Bonk. There we go. I absolutely really wanted to show that off, especially with the Golden Dome, but ooh, that's so good. So, where are the spoils? Uh, I guess down here. You you can just take them all. I'm not gonna- no, I don't want to try again. Why the club did I try again? I wonder if I could just speed kill at this point, because I'm not looking to just go ahead and give up. I may- I may- I may as well just use, like, the world exploration or whatever. Let's just go ahead and spam this. Just for why the club not. I'll lower the volume just a bit so I can kind of seem a little bit more clear and talk, but, uh, still. Oh! I love this cookie so much. Literally one of my favorite cookies, one of my favorite oh, ancients, one of the be best mine. in my personal opinion. And dear lord, I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to use this. Because oh, if you're wondering, be I kind of recorded this before I did the last uh, Beasties levels because I was looking to use her oh, on the team because be I thought mine. that'd be really fitting. So, uh, yeah. Of course, Golden Cheese wouldn't be able to survive this on her own, oh, but that's why she has mine. the revive. So she could just go ahead and just tank this, unless she can. If she could, that'd be oh, overpowered. Be I swear. It, I mean, it was cl it's close, but oh, not... Anyway, nice. and also, if you, like, do something, you can use the skill, and also, she can just use it again the moment she revives. Behold, I have delivered victory! Okay, now is a good spot to end the episode, because, like, let me tell you, ooh, this is good. I think it's better with her skill cooldown anyway, because that means she could just go ahead and keep on using her skill over and over and over. I think damage would also be good, but with the cooldown and like, all the uh, debuffs and buffs that can be applied with all the spears being thrown, I think she's still really good with either cooldown or damage. But with that being said... If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future, and also down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, which includes a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I get the kicker run YouTube staff for absolutely free, there's a link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video, hail the Hype Beast! Thank you